bag out of Aspinall, which is 400 pounds. I've come across this man sitting on the floor. No one wants to come by and give him a drink, buy him any hot food. Right tight fuckers, mate. Obviously, I'm in Marlebone, a very wealthy area. What's your name, brother? Ian. His name's Ian. How old are you, Ian? 59. He's 59. I just went across the road and got in a sandwich, a croissant and a hot coffee. What's your story, Ian? You just come across hard times with that uh, thing, Rose? Yeah, I was, uh, I was with somebody for like 17 years and then uh, one of my, my youngest lads disabled. She ended up keeping the house in North Yorkshire and I ended up on the street. How long have you been on the street, Ian? Uh, just over three years. Is it a struggle, mate? Yeah. It's fucking hard work, yeah. freezing cold. Yeah. And have you got any help from the government? Possible? Nothing. I can't sign on, I can't do anything. So you're living off the street as much as you can every day, it's a fucking struggle. That's it. How do you find that it's in winter winter? It's hard in the it's, it's, it's well, I've, I've had two strokes. You've had two strokes. And how old are you in? 59. So going to the government, you're getting no help at all? No. They don't want to talk to you, they don't want to give you any money, no. it's just fucking hard work. Yeah. And when you're begging on the streets, I say that in a respectful way, because every man's got a story. I myself. Well, it's my own house. It's actually because they, they won't help me because it's my house. I understand. I understand. It's paid for and bought and paid for. So, and it's in the Yorkshire Dales. I know Yorkshire. I, I know Yorkshire. Harrogate. Well, uh, just the other side of Harrogate. It's between Beedale and Leyburn. There you go, people. You've heard it from a man on the street. I went over and got him a sandwich and a coffee and a croissant. Not for me to do filming to put people on the internet to, to use that as an advantage because we all know myself. I was a cocaine addict for 30 years and an alcoholic, and I was on the street. This man here is a gentleman, yeah? You've got to remember, people, there's a lot of people on the street that need help. Don't just walk by them and take the piss out of them. Everyone's got a story, like this man here, correct, yeah? Yeah, really And this man appreciates anything, anything you can give to people on the street, a cup of coffee, go and shake their hand, give them a bit of hope, don't just walk by and take the piss, because we all know that it can happen to the best of us, correct, yeah? Yeah, I've seen dentists, solicitors, all sorts of Have things. you worked before as a young man, Ian? Uh, I'm, man? I'm a tradesman, I'm a floor layer by trade. I did seven year apprentice. I mean, this is the first time in the life I've been out of work. So you're a tradesman, by trade you're a floor, you're a floor layer. Yeah. You come across hard times, three years on the street. Have you got any right at the end of the tunnel at the moment, mate? No. Nothing. No. Well, listen, this video has come live from Marlebone. I'm not going to put this man on offer because that's a rude thing to do, but I've asked him his permission beforehand to do the filming so people can understand that everyone's got a story. Don't just walk by people and take the piss. This man's a tradesman. He's come across hard times, he's lost his house, he's ended up on the street for three years. I'm urging people to help as much as you can. A drink, a smile, shake someone's hand, give them a bit of fucking light. Here's a picture of Ian. Ian, God bless, mate. Thanks for letting me do the video. My name's Martin John.